Hello viewers, in this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to install PostgreSQL on Mac. To install PostgreSQL involves two processes. First of all, we need to install the PostgreSQL and we need to install the PG admin for. I want to kindly request that you should um, subscribe to my YouTube video and like my video. Um, like um, subscribing to my video will help my channel to grow. And without further ado, let's move on on how to install PostgreSQL on Mac. So you need to go to Google and Type Postgres SQL. Then this first one here, we'll click on it, PostgreSQL.org. Click on download. Click on Mac. Then we'll download it with Interactive Installer by EDB. So click on download the installer. So um, then click on download. So it's not downloading the, the DMG of Postgres 15 for us. So it has finished downloading. So now click on, on the PostgreSQL DMG. So it's opening it for us. So you double click on this. So pop up the process. So click on open and put in your laptop password. So let's wait. So now you click the setup process and you click step. For you as a new installer, it will prompt you for to prompt you for a new password. I mean, not username. So for me, it won't prompt me. So you just click next, 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 and it will install. Click OK. So it has finished installing. So um, on click this launch start driver before you click finish. So the next step now is to um, install PG admin for. So we in install the PG admin for. So let's um, go back to our browser and um, Let's go to Google and click um, PG admin for. Then you click on this, download PG admin. If you're using the latest version, you can click on this one, but if you're using um, the old version of MacBook, you can click the one below. I'm using the latest version, so I'll click on Mac OX. So I'll be using the latest release, which is released on January 17, 2023. So I'll click on this. 
then I will click on the PG admin for slash six dot nineteen dot DMG. So it would it would download is about one hundred and eighty three megabytes. So let's wait for it to download. So it has finished downloading. So let's click on it. Click agree to open the PG admin for. So let's wait a while. Take a little bit of time. So, so it will now pop out on this icon. So you need to drag this PG admin for to your app. So let me drag it. So I've dragged it to my application. So it will, it will copy it to the application so that we won't have to be picking it, uh, starting it and it's every time we want to start um, an application. So it will take a little bit of time. So let me pause this video for a while until it finish copying the application to and copying PG admin app to our application on Mac. So we are finished copying the file. So now let's go to our app and um, launch the PostgreSQL. So let's, so if you're opening it for the first time, it took a little while to launch. So click on open. So let's wait, it's take, it will take a little while to open. So you put the password that you used to set it up when you are creating. So you put the, if you put the right password and, and click on the server, then you click on to prompt me for the password. So now it has opened my database. I have um, two um, Postgres I've installed. So you now click on, it has opened my database. So now let's, you can create, you can now create a database. Let's click and click create and give it a database name. Let me call my uh, Kenzo Rice store. Kenzo Rice store and click save. So we've created our database. So guys, this is how you set up um, 
you set up um, Postgres on your MacBook. Thank you for watching and kindly subscribe.